So please uh, say your name and where do you come from and what are you doing in EU for uh, Okay, uh, I am Mayra Yuseli Bedkal. I am from Guatemala. Uh, I was in the promo from 2018 to 2020 in the L4M. And actually I am doing my, I am going to start the third year of my PhD here in the ENSEM between the Institute Femto. And uh, you study in Gijón or? Yeah, I did the first year in Spain, in, sorry, in Egypt, the third semester in Spain and the last one here in the ENSEM. In ENSEM. And um, what do you think was, what was the difference between uh, Egypt and here in ENSEM? Oh, the culture, I think. The culture, the food, uh, how the people they, they are, because normally in Latin America we are so friendly, so kind, and sometimes we feel like people from Germany, from France, they are so a little bit cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was like the main thing, I think, uh -huh. difference for me. And uh, in study uh, theme, what, what do you think what was uh, the most effort for you to, to come to, uh, to Europe? Uh, was a big difference or? No, I think it, no, it was not a big difference, maybe sometimes the language, but the, I, was be, I was able to adapt myself to every system. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any difficulty with it. Is there more software or is there more methodology or what, what do you think is uh, that, that? I think there is a difference. Uh, yeah, 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 there is a, a, some difference, for example, here in in France, you study like the whole day from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And this is not something happens in Spain. Like it's just mm -hmm. from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> and in Egypt, it was like from 3 p.m. to, to 7, 8, 9 p.m. depends on the lecture. Mm -hmm. That is a little bit different from here. Okay. But and the methodology, it was different too. I mean, depends of the professor, depends of the okay. lecture, if this like a technical one or not. But okay. everything was good for me. Okay. And what the what what was the best in uh, Gijón or in Oviedo for you? Oh, it was amazing. I, I missing. I am missing Gijón <laughs> because I was living like in front of the sea. I was having this view always, but it was good for me. I enjoyed it a lot because I did the, the third semester there and it was easy for me because I speak Spanish, this is my mother okay, language yes, okay. and I was like, okay, I will stop suffering for language yes, now. Yes. And uh, what was the best here in Besançon? Okay, in Besançon I was not here because it was my internship and I did in Spain and I just came to present it mm -hmm. here because of the COVID time it was, I was yes. having just some issues with it. But now, because I am doing the PhD, I know some uh, how it's working a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit, I mean, for me, the language is a little bit hard here because I don't speak French, I speak a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, what do you think is the best of the EU FOM program? Oof, I think it's an amazing program for me because it opens to me many doors like I didn't think I will be able to to work with, for example, this PhD. Uh, now, I, I saw many of my colleagues that they are working in different companies, in different subjects, and all of most of them with work here in Europe mm -hmm. or in other countries in US. Some of them, uh, I think, it was an amazing program for us. And you think you will stay here, or what's what's your plan in the future? I think I never have a plan now to say like I want to live in this country or this. Like it's just going the way and so, and to see what is going to happen. I mean, every opportunity came and I just take it and I see what is going on. But I don't say okay, I want to be in Germany or in Spain. No, I don't mm -hmm. have like a, a specific place to be. Did you think the EU Fram program opened your mind or? Yeah, for sure, opened my mind because it was the first time I was studying in other country. But in my case, I went out from home when I was 14. And I mean, for me, I was having an open mind during like a long time ago. <laughs> I am 27 and from 14 years I was out of home. Yeah, it was a little bit easier for me. So 
Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>